Senegalese soldiers serving in the French army rest near the Western Front in Alsace. French machine gunners set up a position amid ruins during the Battle of the Aisne in France. Soldiers look at the 45-meter-deep crater left by the detonation by the British of 21 tons of explosives underneath German positions near Messines in West Flanders. One of the largest non-nuclear explosions in history, the blast killed 10,000 soldiers and was heard as far away as Dublin. An Algerian worker in Noyo, France after the retreat of the Germans, A worker from Indochina in Soissons, France. French soldiers from Africa prepare a meal on the Western Front. A girl holds a doll next to soldiers' equipment in Reims, France. French soldiers of the 370th Infantry Regiment eat soup during the Battle of the Aisne. A French officer inspects the barbed wire around French positions in Soissons. French soldiers dig through the rubble of a destroyed building in Reims, France. French soldiers and horses in the cloister of the Abbey de saint jean de Vienne in Soissons, which was heavily damaged by artillery fire. Doctors, nurses and medical personnel in front of Field Hospital 55 in Bourbourg, France. Senegalese Bambara soldiers serving with the French army in Balsweller, Alsace. A camp in Egypt of workers from the British Chinese Labour Corps recruited to participate in the Middle East campaign. Senegalese soldiers in the French army line up for lunch in St. Ulrich, France. A French outpost near the front in Herzbach, Alsace. A group of Swiss border guards behind a fence between Switzerland and France. French soldiers camouflage a 370mm railway gun near the Western Front. Firefighters attempt to extinguish a fire started by the German bombing of Dunkirk, France. A French soldier peers out from a position on the Western Front in Alsace. French soldiers in Herzbach, Alsace. An Algerian guard on a bridge in Palmyres, France. A news vendor in Reims, France. French soldiers read newspapers at a kiosk in Rexbode, Calais. A French soldier eats a loaf of bread in Reims, France. French soldiers stand on a narrow-gauge railroad in an artillery-ravaged battleground in West Flanders. Wounded soldiers from the battlefield near La Faux at St. Paul Hospital in Soissons, France. A French military cemetery on a hillside in the town of Mouche, Alsace. View of Verdun after eight months of bombing, September 1916. French gunners receive instruction, 1916.
a French soldier with an acoustic listening device capable of tracking aircraft on the Western Front. The wreck of a German tank, which was destroyed during a battle on the Western Front. A soldier in uniform with three medals stands next to a cannon in Paris in 1918. His left leg has been replaced by an artificial limb. Three soldiers look out across a battlefield where wagons are upturned and destroyed and craters break up the mud. Captain Benjamin H. Geary VC, 1st Battalion, East Surrey Regiment being carried in on a stretcher by prisoner bearers at Aki at Lupati. August 21, 1918. One poignant photo shows the funeral of Sergeant Henry Nicholas, VC, in World War I, France. 20th Battery Canadian Field Artillery, Neuville St. Vost, April 1917. The horses are soaking and laden with gear. German soldiers on board a tank that bears the word escapade on the side. Three sit on the top while another leans out of the window. Nuns lay wreaths in a field of mass graves. Soldiers at the Battle of Verdun. One sits on the mud as others help the wounded. A bombed out town with collapsing buildings as a lone soldier wanders near a crater. A gigantic shell crater, 75 yards in circumference, Ypres, Belgium, October 1917.